Beautiful trout. Black Rose. Black Rose. Nice red, baby. Nice red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a look at this one. Beautiful red. Black rose. There we go. Nice, pretty red fish here. I can see a whisker hanging out his mouth. Look, look at that. Shrimp whisker. Shrimp whisker hanging out his mouth. We're just fishing some man made deep canals, great wintertime spots right here. We go over this a lot on Dockside TV in the dead of the winter, fishing these deeper man-made canals. All right, we're gonna be using the Shrimp Creole today on our 3 8 ounce golden eye screw lock. You use these jig heads in the winter and you do not go through any lures. One lure a day is very, very likely Unless you break off. These matrix hold up so much better in the winter and then you attach it to that screw lock and these things are bulletproof. Shrimp Creole, let's go get them. Trout could be a bass, could be a flounder. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we call a loggerhead. Loggerhead. Look at that trout, baby. Look at that trout. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Shrimp Creole, baby. Working these ledges. Let me put this fish up and I'll go over how we're doing this. So most of these man-made canals, they're like 15 to 20 foot in the middle. And there's several of them in the estuary. And these marsh man-made canals like this, they're gonna grow a nice grass edge on the flat. So you can see that grass edge come out a good ways. Get you a good pair of polarized sunglasses like these matrix shades, these matrix mirrors. I can see the edge of that grass. And you can you notice I'm not throwing up on the bank because you can't, it's too grassed over. I can see right where that edge of that grass is. I'm just gonna work the edge of that grass line. And we got, you know, this type of fishing, we're just gonna go. Long, long drifts. You're not really gonna find them too ganged up. The one thing you will find ganged up sometimes is if it's really, really cold, the water's really low, them reds will gang up. But for the most part, we're just gonna cover a ton of ground and we're just gonna keep working the edge of this grass. All right, it's starting to warm up pretty good. It's been pretty blistering cold the last several days week or two and when it's really cold and I'm fishing these man-made canals a lot of times I'll fit cast out in the middle but whenever that weather tells me to take that jacket off and I'm warming up I typically are gonna focus more on the flats because the fish are gonna use them flats just like we look for heat 
when it's re really cold, they're cold down there too. And the first part of the wa water column that's gonna warm up the first is the shallow. So I can't tell you how many warmer winter days I can really find a fish staged up in that three, four, five foot of water. You know, right now we're throwing in like two foot and underneath the boat's about 15 and our bites are coming in the first couple series of pops because them fish are wanting to be up on the flattier parts. So I'm gonna focus on that rather than throw in the middle of here and jig the deeper parts. Same canal, three different species to start off with. Started with a red, switched to a beautiful trout, and now this is one chunky bass right here. That's the one of my favorite things about fishing these man-made marsh canals is you catch, you never know what's on the end of the line. You get a lot of really nice fish just like that there. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Got the beautiful trout and a beautiful red. So a lot of you guys from South Louisiana's heard of the term, the Oak River Troll, which has been around for a long time. And this that's basically what we're doing here. So Oak River is a river in Delacroix, Louisiana. And it's a deep, it's a deep, channel just like this in the middle of the marsh and what it means is you we're going to put the current or the wind to our back whichever one's stronger today we have almost no virtually no wind so the tide's falling pulling us this way I'm, i don't want to ever fish against the current i want the boat to be going down the bayou that's why that's what the oak river troll means you want to be moving down the bayou or the river or whatever it may be you want to be i'm not even really touching the trolling motor unless i'm bumping it closer or further away from the bank the current's just naturally bringing me down it which makes me give a nice natural presentation with this lure and i'm getting to cover a lot of water and figure out where these fish are wanting to hang out that is your oak river troll in a nutshell right there so it's really just a technique or style of fishing when you have a little bit of current and some deep water in a dead of the winter. Now, as you can see, this bank, it isn't just perfectly straight. You know, we got some flatty parts. Sometimes I can get right up on the bank, like right here, you can see it's gonna be flatty where it comes flat way out. So sometimes I'm kind of tight to the bank as the grass line isn't that far off the shore and as you can see up here that grass line is way off the shore where the boat's going to be way out but we're still just hitting the edge of that grass cast after cast after cast green trout. Mr. Green Trout. Whenever you fish in a dead or the winter like this, you can't really be expecting a lot of limits or fast action. Just pick your pretty days. Come out here. There's plenty of fish to be had. This is the type of stuff this is the type of layout you want to be targeting. And don't get me wrong, the trout, I rarely just crush them this time of year, but the bass and reds, when I find them piled up on the really cold days, they can gang up every cast. But typically, this is what we're doing today, is your kind of a standard deal for dead of the winter fishing. You know, you're just gonna grind it out, find, find a canal or a bayou producing some fish, and just, you know, you could, you could fish this long bayou here 
Make one 20, 30 minute drift, catch four or five, do it again, do it again, do it again. And in a three hour, four hour day, you got 15, 20, 25 fish. As you saw, the trout are really nice, the reds will be nice, the bass are nice, and every man-made canal we fish like this, they're all different. Some hold more bass than reds, some hold more reds than bass, some are purely speckled trout. Just kind of depends on which one. This is one of my favorite ones. And you just, you rarely ever see any boats out here this time of year. You kind of got it to yourself, but I, it just blows my mind that nobody takes advantage of fishing the dead of the winter as the fish, you know, they get a lot easier to catch. They kind of, they have to be in these deeper canals rather than spread out in all of the shallows in the pond. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's Mr. Oh, I missed him. That was a red, that was a red. He was pulling back. Hot dog, right where I thought he would be. Look at this trout. We get to end it on that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Caught that one. As you can see, there's a big flat right behind me, and that flat's dumping into this main bayou here. And that big, this big old trout was sitting right at the mouth of that flat. I popped that lure from two foot to about eight foot and he tattooed it. And that's been the name of the game today right here. Shrimp Creole, catching beautiful trout, reds and bass, jigging the deep water, man-made canals. You can't beat it guys. One of our favorite things to do, dead of the winter, just dress warm, get out here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got plenty of dead of the winter episodes. Subscribe to the Matrix Bait Box. Get your hands on some jig heads and some shrimp creole matrix sheds. And get on out here, guys, and get on this wintertime action also.